everyone, it's Michelle Brunton with Stamping with Michelle. I'm here with another technique card. This is the Faux Frames card. This is the card that we created in my March stamp clubs. And I'm going to kind of pick it up here for you and tilt it a little. I, I know it's a little hard to see. But what this is, is we use a sponging technique to get a faux frame around on our card. So let's get started. The first thing that I did is I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I used my labels framelits to cut out a shape. I used the second to largest framelit here to cut that out. Then after I did that, I took a piece of white scrap paper, just printer paper, and I used the same framelit, and then I also used the framelit that was the next size down. And I put them together and I ran it through the big shot like that. And when I was done, I had a little piece of paper that looks like this. And this is what I'm going to use as a mask to prevent the ink from going where I want it to go. So to do that, you want to take, and we're going to put just a little bit of adhesive in four spots, just to tack it. And then I want to get rid of most of the sticky, so it'll be easier to take it off when I'm done. So I'm going to pat this onto my jeans here to kind of remove most of the sticky. It's going to make it more like a temporary bond, kind of like a post-it. And now I'm going to put this onto the cardstock. I know you probably can't see this, but it's there. And I'm going to start my sponging. I've got a sponge here with Lucky Limeade ink, and I'm going to rub this ink around the edges. I'm trying to stick really close to this mask and away from the center of the cardstock. I want it to look like I've got a couple different layers going on here. Just finish this little bit of sponging here, and you can kind of go back and adjust the, the shading to however you like. All right, next, I'm going to take a stamp here. This is the flower from the Love and Sympathy stamp set. I'm going to use my markers to color directly on the stamp. This is the Lucky Limeade marker for the leaves. Our markers have two tips. You've got the brush tip for coloring directly on your stamps, or if you have a really large area that you want to color in, you can do that. And then there's also the fine tip that you can use if you've got some small details or you even want to do some writing or journaling or whatever. Then I'm going to use the Marina Mist for the flower itself. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp this. This is going to go right there on that. I'm going to add my greetings and I'm going to use the Marina Mist ink like this. And now I'm going to remove the mask. So let's go ahead and lift this off. And I hope you can see this. I'm going to pick it up so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Can you see that? How cool is that? You've got this white area now where the mask was when the ink didn't go. And it looks like you have a couple different layers going on, but you don't. And it, and it removes the bulk of that, so it makes the card less bulky. Let's put this card together. I have gone ahead and I have taken my Marina Mist cardstock and I ran it through the Big Shot with the Lacy Brocade Embossing Folder. We'll take our focal point piece here. And I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals. I like to use the dimensionals when I'm attaching something where there's a lot of texture, when I've used like an embossing folder like I did in this case. And when there's this texture, which is wonderful to look at, sometimes it makes so that the snail doesn't adhere very well. Alright, remove these. And this can now go right in the center. And then for the final detail, I have created a bow, and I used the Island Indigo Baker's Twine. And I'm going to use a glue dot to just attach that right onto the flowers. Isn't that cute? And there you have it. This is the faux frames technique. You can purchase any of these products that I've used today by going to my blog, www.michellebreton.com. You click on the online ordering button, which is in the upper right-hand corner, and that's going to take you to my online store. When you place your order, it's going to be shipped directly to you, so you'll have these products and you can create this card before you know it. Have a great day!